There are two types of voters on election day, registered and non-registered. This video will discuss the voting process for registered voters. Any precinct judge may be asked to serve as a registered roster judge on election day. A roster page contains a pre-printed alphabetical list of voters' names and their addresses. To the right of each name is a space for the voter's signature. In the signature area, it will be noted if the voter has a challenge or has already voted by absentee ballot. Further to the right is the column of barcodes where you will find the voter ID number and the voter's date of birth. When a voter arrives at the roster table, first ask her name and address. If there is more than one individual listed with the same name, you may ask the voter for her date of birth. Remember that registered voters are not required to show any identification unless specifically noted on their signature line. Find the voter's name in the roster and point out the oath at the top of the page. Voters do not have to read the oath aloud. If the voter's signature line does not have any challenges indicated, have her sign the roster. Then, initial a blue voter receipt and issue it to the voter. The voter will bring the receipt to the ballot judge and exchange it for a ballot. Only certain types of marks may be made on the registered roster as it is a legal document. Any voter not able to sign her name may mark an X or use a stamp for her signature. Initials or any combination of first, middle, and last name are acceptable as a legal signature and signatures do not have to be legible. If a voter signs the wrong line, use a red pen to draw a large arrow pointing to the correct signature line. For example, if Josiah signs Abigail's line, draw a red arrow from his signature to the line on which his name is typed. If Abigail votes, she can sign on her line if there is room, or on Josiah's line. Use a red pen to draw arrows indicating which signatures belong with which voter names in case one or both are not legible. If a voter signs the roster and then it is determined that the individual must re-register, draw a red line through the entire signature to indicate that this voter did not vote as a registered voter. By law, a signature indicates that a ballot was issued and voted. If a voter signature is on the registered roster and also on the non-registered roster, it looks as though the individual voted twice and the voter must be reported to the county attorney for investigation. Therefore, it is very important to cross out signatures if the voter was sent away and not issued a blue voter receipt. If a voter writes deceased on another voter's line indicating a family member has died, draw a red line through the entire word so it is not mistaken for a signature and make note of the deceased voter on the roster correction sheet. If you are verbally informed that a voter is deceased, mark this on the roster correction sheet. If typos and names need to be corrected, mark these corrections on the roster correction sheet. Do not mark X's to indicate where a voter should sign, as X's are legal signatures. Again, rosters should contain only signatures and corrections to signatures. All other information should be noted on the roster correction sheet. If a voter states that she is registered, but her name is not found in the roster, there are several possible reasons this may have occurred. These reasons are listed in the polling place reference guide and can be shared with the voter. However, if a voter's name cannot be found in the registered roster, and it is determined that the voter is in the correct precinct, the individual must re-register before voting. There may be notations on the voter signature line that must be checked by an election judge before the voter signs the line. Any mark denoting AB, whether it is pre-printed, stamped or handwritten indicates that a voter has already cast an absentee ballot and may not vote in the polling place. If a voter insists that she never voted by absentee, please call the elections office so we can resolve the situation. Because absentee ballots are received at the elections office on election day, there may be additional voters in your precinct that must have AB marked on their signature line in the roster. If this needs to be done, a staff person will call the head judge who will mark the roster verifying that the voter has not already voted in person. Other notations on the signature line include challenges. Voters must clear a challenge before signing the roster and voting. The only challenge that requires the voter to present identification is the CID challenge. The rest of the challenges are cleared by the voter verbally confirming information. The list of challenges includes the postal return challenge. This challenge occurs because the voter was sent mail that was returned to the elections office as undeliverable. To clear the challenge, the voter must verbally state her address, which must match the address on the roster, read the oath, and sign the roster. 
If the address provided by the voter is different from that in the roster, the voter must re-register in the correct precinct. The Name Address Challenge This challenge is due to the elections office receiving notice that the voter may have changed her name or address. Verify with the voter that both her current name and address match that in the roster. Have her read the oath and sign the roster. If the name or address information is different from that in the roster, the voter must re-register in the correct precinct. The CID Challenge A voter receives this challenge because she is a first-time voter in a federal election. The voter must present acceptable Election Day registration documentation to the roster judge, read the oath, and then sign the roster. The Citizenship Challenge A voter receives this challenge if she becomes registered to vote, but there is question as to her citizenship status. A voter may clear the challenge by verbally stating that she is a United States citizen, reading the oath, and signing the roster. The Voted Out of Precinct Challenge a voter receives this challenge if she voted in the wrong precinct in a previous election. She may clear this challenge by stating her address, reading the oath, and signing the roster. If her address is different from that in the roster, the voter must re-register in the correct precinct. The Felony Challenge This challenge occurs when the elections office receives notice that a registered voter has been convicted of a felony. A voter may clear the challenge by stating that she has completed her sentence including probation or parole. If the individual is uncertain about her felony status, recommend she call her probation officer. If the voter states that she is eligible to vote, have her read the oath and sign the roster. In the Election Day Journal, record her name and note, Felony Challenge Cleared, so the Elections Office can follow up. The Guardianship Challenge This occurs when the Elections Office receives notification that a registered voter has been placed under court-ordered guardianship with loss of voting rights. A voter may clear this challenge by stating that she is eligible to vote, reading the oath, and signing the roster. In the Election Day Journal, record the voter's name and note, Guardianship Challenge Cleared, so the Elections Office can follow up. The AB Address Challenge This challenge indicates that the voter applied for an absentee ballot at an address different than the one listed in the roster. Ask the voter if she already voted in this election by absentee ballot. If she indicates that she has not, she may vote. If the voter already has voted, she may not vote again in this election. Remember that the notation Challenge AB Address is different from the notation AB. If Challenge AB Address is on the voter's signature line, the voter applied for an absentee ballot but may not have submitted it. If the voter tells the election judge that the ballot was not submitted, the individual must be allowed to vote in the polling place. If AB is on a voter's signature line, that voter is voted by an absentee ballot, and the vote has already been processed by the Ramsey County Elections Office.